Bula Vinak everyone, I welcome you back to my channel. I thank you for uh, using this channel to help you with your revision for your year 12 uh, um, literature or English content. Today we'll be looking at the preliminary inspection by Raymond Pillay. Now, uh, if you are familiar, you should be familiar by now in year, in year 12, sorry. You have two short stories that now they go in pairs. The first one that I've already discussed in previous video was uh, the Kabuliwala, and now you will um, we we will look at preliminary inspection. Now they have a common theme, which is relationship. Remember, when you are answering questions in the exam under the theme relationship, you are only allowed to choose preliminary inspection and Kabuliwala. So please take note, you cannot use the other two, which is the gift of the Magi and um, day, a day in the country. That comes on the values. For this one, relationship, preliminary inspection, and the Kabuliwala. Okay, without further ado, we will discuss the notes. This is, I'm assuming that you've read the short story from our text, The uh, Other Worlds. There's uh, many short stories in that text, and uh, you are familiar with the story. So this is just the notes. A brief discussion of the notes okay let's start off with background and setting now remember students background and setting they both mean different things setting is the physical place that the story takes place and the background is the social uh, social or cultural um, or even the religious event that is happening so in our story you'll find out both the setting and the background. So our story is set. So this is the physical place where it takes place in a rural settlement a few kilometers away from Lambasa town, so-called La Jonia. It is on the day of Diwali. So Diwali will be our background. Okay, Diwali will be our background. If you remember your um, year 11 uh, short story, A Day in the Country under the theme humor, the background was during Easter. Right, the background was uh, during Easter, but the setting was at a paddock, at a cow paddock field where the hockey game was taking part, place. Sorry. Now, the people here are mostly cane farmers whose daily chores are based around farming. The people do not possess high standard homes and is highlighted by the fact that the house in which the story is based around is an ordinary, ordinary family home, not made for beauty, for just family use. People here are culturally and traditionally enriched, as Savitri's father mentions about knowing one's mother tongue. So that is the background and the setting of our story. Moving on to our plot or the summary or the synopsis of our story. Now Gopal arrives at Savitri's place on the day of Diwali. Now this is what happens very briefly in the story. It's summarized there. When she had been busy lighting the lamps with two of her younger brothers, he is being welcomed Gopal, that is, and given the respect of the visitor, firstly by Appa and then by Savitri's mother. Appa, Savitri's father, directs abrupt questions to Gopal, making him feel uncomfortable. Later, Gopal is requested by the parents to accompany Savitri outside lighting the lamps. Now, Gopal, who had been all along wishing to be with Savitri, since she had been looking extremely beautiful that night in her golden sari. Now, Gopal's wish to hold Savitri in his arms came to reality when she gets entangled in the flower bushes and lands in the arms of Gopal, but soon is interrupted by Jenki. Jenki is uh, Savitri's older sister. She had come to invite the two for dinner. The next day, when Gopal goes to pick Savitri from school, he then discovers that the parents of the girl, or Savitri, already knew about the relationship and the marriage intentions. This makes Gopal feel angry, but he leaves the matter not to be discussed further. Okay, that is just very briefly. Now, you remember this story. It's a very um, slice of life story, so we do not know how they met or uh, when uh, Savitri told the parents. We are just given that very brief moment of when Gopal meets his girlfriend's parents for the first time, or his intended bride for the bride's family for the first time, and then we later find out, you know, where there is a um, where there is a climax of we find out that all along Savitri's parents knew about the intentions of uh, Gopal. So it's a really nice story. It also ties to the theme relationship, eh? and they are not 
usually just the relationship between Gopal and Savitri, there's also a very special relationship that is going on, which is Savitri and her parents. All right, moving on, we come to characters. Come to the characters of our play, of our short story. Sorry. So Gopal, he's a bachelor. Bachelor is an unmarried young man of age. So he would be called a bachelor. He's a social welfare officer. That's his occupation. He's from Viti Levu. He's a Malayala. Malayala are Southwest Indian. And then he does not speak his language, which is Malayalan, which is Malayalan. So, but does not speak the language. Yeah? Now he has a courting relationship with Savitri. For those of you who are not familiar with courting, courting is just a old English word for you having a relationship between a boyfriend and girlfriend, so that you would call courting relationship. Now he feels guilty about, about going to Savitri's house on false pretenses. He is well mannered, sorry. He feels awkward seeing the demeanor of Appa. Now remember his intentions for Savitri. So you wouldn't want to uh, insult your in-laws the first time you go to their house. So that's why he's like awkward sitting there while Appa is spitting his food, he's burping, probably flatulating while at the dinner table. So he, he's trying to keep his uh, composure, try and keep his demeanor because he's trying to impress his future father-in-law. But then we later found out all of that was for nothing. Eh? Um, Savitri had already told the parents. Okay, Savitri. A beautiful woman is regarded as an epitome or the height, eh? the most, one of the, when you think of a beautiful in, Indian woman or an actress or someone that is uh, revered, you know, very beautiful person, they are called the epitome or the height of an Indian woman. So just picture Savitri is looking like that. Now she's most probably a school teacher because Gopal, the, the day after Diwali, he goes and pick her up from school. So she's probably a teacher. She is cultured and trustworthy. We know she's trustworthy through her, how she reacted with um, her parents. Her parents trust her to be able to make her own decisions choosing um, the man she will marry. Now she makes wise decision in telling her parents about her marriage. So she's matured, she's very wise as well. Has two younger brothers and an elder sister named Jenki. And Jenki was the one, uh, one who interrupted them while they were lighting the, the candles. Okay, moving on, our next character is Savitri's father. He is Appa, who is Appa. He's old and grumpy. He's Tamil by caste. He is proud of his culture and his mother tongue. He values his young days of schooling. He behaves in awkward ways. And I think it was all a charade. It was all a, a gimmick for him to try and... Um, Tulame in, intimidate. He wanted to intimidate um, uh, Gopal to see whether this man is worthy of my daughter. So we do not know whether he's naturally like that, very rude or boisterous. Maybe he was acting the part so to try and uh, scare off Gopal or try and uh, see whether Gopal has any guts to stay with his, um, with his daughter, knowing that that will be his future father-in-law. He understands the intentions of youngsters, and he has a beautiful wife. All right, so those are the three characters. Now we'll move on to the themes. Now remember, students, themes are usually very important when it comes to answering questions during the exam. So themes in the, in the exams will probably be question is, what are some lessons that you learned? What, are some, what is the intention of the story? So those are just masking you, or they are just um, they 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 are just other ways of saying what are the themes of the story. Yeah? So the themes of our short story are love, which is younger generations love to have courtship or girlfriend and boyfriend relationship, marriages. So what that basically means is of in order for a couple to get married, they'd like to probably have date so they meet each other they get to know about each other they they don't need a chaperone or someone who looks after them while they're going on these dates they probably go at it alone to in on and then eventually it will lead to marriage so nowadays rather than arranged as it was in the olden days shown by gopal and savitri now gopal had been looking forward to meeting savitri on that beautiful night and even waiting for a chance to hold her tight her parents also show love towards Savitri, 
as they accepted her request to invite Gopal home on Diwali night. So that is the love that was shown there. And I think the love not only shown in the wholesome sense of between a boyfriend and girlfriend, but you know, there's a different kind of love between a parent and a child. Sometimes we, when you are, um, there's a lot of divorce going on. There's a lot of um, people who are going out there breaking up, but a love between a parent and a child you cannot divorce yourselves from that. I cannot divorce myself from my parents or from my children or from you and your parents. It's lifelong. So that's kind of different. So love, it can be both between you and the love of your life, meaning your boyfriend or your girlfriend, or the love between you and your parents. Okay, next theme is culture and tradition. It is important to know the value of one's culture and tradition so that one's identity is not lost. That's so true. You must know your culture that will lead you to knowing your tradition. Now, this is highlighted by the fact that Gopal had very little knowledge about his own Mala Malayala language. It is shown in the story that youths do not value their mother tongue as the older generations did. The writer has shown that culture is fast eroding away due to modernization as Savitri has chosen her own life partner and even had courage to tell her parents about it. Now, Change is inevitable. You know, we cannot stop change in our culture, in our tradition. So this story is trying to highlight how we will go through many changes. And instead of fighting it, we need to accept it and to be able to uh, incorporate it into our everyday life. But taking into taking into consideration to respect our culture and tradition. So Savitri, she was honest, she was open to her parents, and she respected her parents by letting her boyfriend meet her parents before she was going to tie the knot. So let's be mindful of these things. Eh? Okay, moving on, the next uh, theme is language loss. So language loss, we are losing our language due to modernization. So Pile, who is our author of our short story, has portrayed to the readers that language loss is evident in modern societies where younger generations are more educated and are more employed if compared to those whose life is basically dwelled around traditional works of life. So the more educated you become, the more modern you become, you can't help it but lose your language or you can't help it but um, discontinue speaking your mother tongue because you are exposed to educate education, formal education, which is usually spoken through English. So obviously, if you are from the Pacific, English isn't our mother tongue or our first language. We were brought up or born with a different language, a dialect even. So language loss is due to education, is due to modern society. And that is what our story also brought out. Now, the next um, theme is, <clears throat> excuse me, is betrayal. It is important that one must not betray the feelings of those whom one trusts as Savitri does. Now, in such circumstances, it makes people more uncomfortable as Gopal had been feeling when he discovered that the person he loved so much had betrayed her by not telling the truth on the night he arrives at her place. But all is forgiven because he loves Savitri. He loves Savitri so much that even though she had lied about not her parents not knowing about him, he quickly forgave her and wanted to marry her at the end of the story. So that also portrays his love for Savitri. Okay, last but not least theme is the relationships. Now we're going to identify the next, the, the two specific relationships. Now in the story, Gopal and Savitri share a, excuse me, oops, sorry. Moving on, we have relationship. Now, relationship is also the overall theme for both short stories, the Kabuliwala and Preliminary Inspection, but also let's look at the relationship that is present in our short story. Now, in the, short, in the story, Kopal and Savitri share a love relationship between two consenting adults. So they, have, they are both adults, they're over 18 and they're having a love relationship. Now Gopal is Savitri for a while and goes to meet her family on Diwali night. So once again, that shows that they have been steady or they've been going out exclusively with each other and they have decided to move on to the next step, which is meet, meeting their parents. So maybe Savitri is going to meet uh, the parent, uh, Gopal's parents later. We'll, 
we can only imagine that's the beauty of short stories or any type of literature you can make your own assumptions and then so uh, Gopal in our story meets Savitri's family now another form of relationship shown in the story is parents and daughter relationship very important parents and daughter relationship okay when Savitri's parents trust her Sorry, where well, Savitri's parents trust her with her decisions and that allows Savitri to be open and honest with them. So Savitri has a very rare relationship. Now when I talk about rare, not only nowadays whenever I teach my students and I ask them about um, whether any of them have that type of relationship with their parents, hardly, hardly does anyone put their hand up to say that they do. So it's very rare. It's very rare to have that kind of relationship where you're, where you're very open with your parents, you tell them everything, especially when it deals with you having a relationship with your with a boy or with a girl. Now, mind you, this story takes place when both Kopal and Savitri are both working, or they are both uh, earning their own money, they are adults. But sometimes it's better to start now you can have an open relationship with your open and um, yes open relationship with your parents where you can tell them everything about what's going on in your life and i tell you sometimes your parents you'll be surprised how open your parents and they'll be very very grateful that you had the um, the courage to share with them what you're going through Okay, moving on, we look at styles. Now, styles in the exam questions, they look at what are the devices used by the by the by the writer of the short story that brought out the themes, or what are some poetic div uh, sorry, what are some um, some some ways that was used to bring out the theme of the or the plot of the story. When that question comes, you are looking at style. Okay, you are looking at styles. So, that our first style is first person narration so this is the type of narration of our story or how the story was presented to us now Gopal he is the first person narrator so we hear the story through his perspective or through his point so Gopal who is the main character is narrating the story so we hear it everything is coming from his side so him finding about finding out about Savitri and how he was telling her parents how she was telling her parents etc etc we are also revealed everything through Gopal's perspective, or when Gopal was narrating. Next style is vocabulary. Now the writer has used vernacular words such as Appa, Namaste, and names of characters to show the readers that ordinary people who live ordinary lives have been involved. And it also shows the simplicity of the people in the story. The writer has also used descriptive vocabulary such as perplexed, asperity, enchanting, beautiful, epitome. These vocabularies portray the culture and beauty of life that people in this culture uphold. These words used by the writer also describe how beautiful Savitri is. So those are the vocabulary or the words that are used. Next is figurative language. Now the author has used figurative language such as simile. Remember simile guys? Now students please, these are the very basic figures of speech. So simile is comparing two things with the use of like or as. So in our story we have how could a vulgar slob like produce del a delicate bloom like Savitri. So this is Gopal comparing the vulgar slob, slob was Appa or Savitri's father and he's trying to say how can someone so beautiful come from a vulgar. Vulgar is someone who's rude and slob is someone who's dirty with their mannerisms who don't, don't really have good manner especially table manners and then we when we really read the story you saw his reaction at the at the table at the eating table and the use of metaphor now the figure of speech is a metaphor and remember please metaphors are words or uh, metaphors are used when you are comparing two things without the use of like or as so i don't know which is more beautiful savitri the night or you all right so that's creating vivid images in the minds of the readers so while you're looking at you it's like man you are really taken to how he is trying to express himself and that is by explaining how beautiful the night is 
it's nothing compared to the beauty of his girlfriend or his intended wife to be okay thank you class that is the end of our discussion of our preliminary inspection by raymond pillay under the theme relationship um i find this uh, tool of uh, watching these youtube videos to be very helpful to you because sometimes you learn at different paces so this can help you with you can pause you can download the video you can um, share it you can save it on youtube and um, try and uh, keep these videos for your intention to revise now please uh, just an exam tip when you are writing the title it needs to be in bold uh, sorry in open inverted commas eh? so um you should in exam time you should have an inverted comma preliminary inspection close inverted comma if you for somehow forget another means to um, have uh, when you're writing titles even within your essay you can have it underlined as i have done it here have it and underlined this name you don't need quotation marks nor do you need it to be underlined but the spelling is very important so raymond pillay r-a-y-m-o-n-d P I L L I A I. So that is very important. In my previous videos, I have um, a sample essays where I discuss on uh, a relationship. So please view that and take note of the different exam tips that I have uh, uh, shared with um, with with you. Uh, please don't be hesitant to ask questions in the comment section. Please like the video and also share with your other friends, other classmates. Eh? All right, thank you very much. Once again, subscribe and uh, all the best in your revision. Nakabakalevo.